Hi. Now, in some earlier tutorials, I looked at displacement time graphs and velocity time graphs, and I introduced you to these letters, often referred as SUVAT. S being displacement, U being initial velocity, V the final velocity, A acceleration, and T the time. And we looked at a particle moving with constant acceleration. And acceleration was defined as being the change in velocity, that's the final velocity minus the initial velocity, divided by the time taken. And in the tutorial on velocity time graphs, I showed you that the displacement s was given by the mean velocity u plus v divided by 2 times the time t. Now what I want to show you is some more equations that can be derived from these two here. Those equations are often known as the equations for constant acceleration. I'll show you what they are. They're these ones here. We've already got the last one, okay? That's up here. But what I want to do is show you how we can derive these other four. And what we're going to be doing in later tutorials is doing some questions that involve constant acceleration. And you'll find that we'll list out the variables and have to pick on one of these equations to use. Each of these equations leaves out one of these letters. Okay, so just the purpose of this tutorial then is to show you how we get these particular equations. And to do that, we'll just number the first equation 1 and we'll have that one as number 2. As I say, we've already got this equation here, so we'll just underline that. Okay, that leaves us with another 4 more to get. Well, this top one is very easy because it's just simply a rearrangement of number 1. So, we'll start off with that one by saying that from 1, all we've got to do is times both sides by t, and we therefore have at equals v minus u. And then, if we add u to both sides, we end up with at plus u, or u plus at equals v. Rearrange that around and you get v equals u plus at. So there's your next equation up here. Let's go for, say, this one here, s equals ut plus a half at squared. Notice how in this equation we haven't got the letter v. So we can use this equation, which we'll call number 3. We can substitute for v into equation 2. Now you might like to try and derive this now. Okay, pause the video, see how you get on. So if we substitute 3 into 2, let's just write that down, sub 3 into 2. What are we going to get? Well, we would have that s equals u plus the v, v being u plus at. And then we multiply that with the t and divide by 2. So we end up with 2u plus at, all being multiplied by the t. So you're going to get 2ut. And then at times t is going to be plus at squared. And then we're dividing that by the 2. So if we now just simply divide each of these two terms on the top by the 2, we end up with s equaling ut, 2's cancel there. And then when we come on to this next term here, we've got 80 squared divided by 2, which I'm going to write as plus a half 80 squared. So that gives you this one here. What else have we got to get? Well, this one here, very similar. You can see that this equation hasn't got u in. So what we're going to do is much the same as what we've just done here. All we need to do is make u the subject from the formula and sub it up into 2. 
So what we can say then is that from 3, and again you might like to try this yourself anyway, from 3 u is going to equal v minus at, u equals v minus at, and we'll sub that in to equation 2. So what do we got this time? Well we have s equals, well in place of u, we'll have v minus at, v minus at, plus the remaining v, times it by t and divide the whole lot by 2. So we've got s equals, well we've got 2v minus at, and we're going to multiply that by the t, so we get 2vt minus at squared, and that's divided by 2. A couple of terms on the top then, divide each term by 2, and you end up with s equals vt minus a half at squared. So that's your next equation. Right, finally, we've got to get this one here, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So you notice with this one, there's no t in it. So we've just got to make t the subject, say from equation 3, and then we can substitute it into 2. So, again, you might like to try that one. So if we take 3, let's go from 3, from 3, Make t the subject, we could take u from both sides, v minus u equals at, and then divide by the a, so you end up with t equaling v minus u, all divided by a, and then we'll sub this into 2. Well, let's just do it over here, let's come down there. So if we say sub in 2, we're going to get s equals u plus v over 2, u plus v over 2, and then we're timesing by t, t being v minus u over a. So we could multiply both sides by 2a, so that's going to give us 2as equals u plus v times v minus u. Let's just write those brackets out again, v minus u. And if we multiply those out, we get uv, then minus u squared, plus v squared, and then minus vu, or minus uv. And you can see the uv's cancel, leaving us with minus u squared plus v squared. So I could just write that as 2as equals, well, put the v squared first, v squared minus u squared. So if we add u squared to both sides, we end up with v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And there you go. That's the remaining equation. So what I'd encourage you to do is definitely try and learn these because what I'm going to be doing in the next few videos is we'll look at a number of examples involving these equations. Okay? Anyway, well that brings us to the end of this particular tutorial and uh, as usual I hope that's been of some use to you.